Incisal reduction is carried out to a depth of 2 mm using a parallel sided medium grit burr. Depth cuts can be employed first of all using a smooth continuous action to prevent overheating of the tooth and these are then joined together to perform an even reduction. A small portion of tissue can be retained mesially and distally to prevent damage to the adjacent teeth. Interproximal reduction is carried out using a fine pointed medium grit burr. A smooth action is employed and the burr hand is supported at all times to prevent slippage and damage to the adjacent tooth. Interproximal margin preparation is carried out using a medium grit parallel sided round ended burr. The margin is prepared to a depth of 1 to 1.5 and millimetres and a deep chamfer or rounded shoulder preparation is employed. The buckle surface is prepared to a depth of 1 to 1.5 mm using a parallel sided medium grit round ended burr. Reduction is carried out in two planes to follow the natural contour of the tooth and a smooth action supporting the burr hand will allow a nice smooth preparation. The gingival margin should be followed to ensure evenness of preparation and it's essential to use the putty matrix to ensure that reduction is even throughout the preparation. The palatal margin is then carried out to a depth of one to one and a half millimeters. It is essential to retain the natural cingulum of the tooth, so the palatal preparation must be parallel to the buccal preparation at gingival level. The remainder of the platal surface is then prepared using a medium grit rugby ball shaped burr. It's important that the cingulum is not over prepared at this stage and the putty matrix must be used to ensure evenness of preparation. Finally, the preparation is inspected and refined using a fine grit burr to ensure that surfaces are smooth and evenly reduced.